Hello, my name is Bella Kaufman, and I am a university student at the College of Staten Island. I would like to talk to you about a study we did comparing the writings of autistic and non-autistic university students. We want to determine if autistic university students often have specific difficulties and or strengths in their writing. Past studies have shown that autistic children and teenagers often have difficulties in their writing. To start our research, a team of non-autistic researchers developed hypotheses. One hypothesis was that autistic students might have challenges with writing because they might not understand the perspective of others. Another hypothesis was that autistic university students might produce shorter texts than non-autistic university students because they might put pressure on themselves to write perfectly on the first try. The non-autistic researchers realized these hypotheses might be too focused on weaknesses after talking with a participatory researcher a researcher who collaborates with autistic people. So the team of non-autistic researchers recruited two autistic university students, I am one of them, to look for patterns in data, which is known as qualitative coding. We created our own hypotheses and a coding scheme. Our research team recruited autistic and non-autistic university students from one institution. Students complete online surveys about writing, which measures their feelings about writing, tests on computers, which included an activity that is assumed to test perspectives, taking ability, a writing activity where students were asked to write a short essay on what they learned in the past two months that they thought was important, and in-person tests, which includes a non-verbal intelligence test and a reading comprehension test. The, re the research team used a writing website called paperware.com to score the autistic and non-autistic students' writing on errors and overall writing quality. We found that autistic college students recruited from a participatory mentorship program project which were better at writing than non-autistic students recruited from the general student body of the same university. Some of the autistic students' advantages in writing were due to autistic students having higher nonverbal intelligence than non-autistic students at the same institution. This study also shows that, shows that autistic university students who participated in this study had stronger writing skills and higher intelligence than non-autistic university students at, from the same institution. This study also shows that autistic college students put pressure on themselves to make their writing perfect on the first try. So teachers should allow autistic students to, to develop their writing through fun and engaging activities to help them focus on the process of writing rather than writing some, rather than trying to write something on perfect on the first try. One takeaway from the study is that autistic university students should be encouraged to develop their writing skills further because they may have stronger writing skills and their non-autistic peers. So, autistic students should be encouraged to write about their interests on writing assignments. Teachers can allow autistic students to have enough time to write and allow them to use a computer to write if they have difficulties with handwriting. By collaborating with autistic people, we can understand the strains that can help autistic people succeed.